Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's Rose Gold Glam will be using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Eyeshadow Palette. First thing I'm doing is priming the eyes using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then to set that primer, I'm going to be using Bay from the Huda Beauty Palette, which is just like a cream eyeshadow. So always make sure to set your base so that all the colors go on nice and smoothly. So for the transition color, I'm going to be dipping into the palette and grabbing sandalwood, which is just like this medium toned brown, um, which is perfect for my client. So I'm really, really making sure that transition color is smoothly buffed into the crease and really just kind of like a light application. Then I'm dipping into Flamingo and Shy. Flamingo is like a bright kind of pink and then Shy is a more muted pink. So I'm just kind of mixing those in and buffing them into the crease. As you can see, I really love to like blend um, and like buff them in as I go. So I'm doing circular motions and windshield wiper motions just so I can get a really seamless application. Now I'm grabbing this bigger fluffy blending brush, sorry, and I'm just making sure there are no harsh lines. I love to do this as I go. It really, really helps everything look nice and seamless. So I decided to zoom you guys in and now I'm grabbing Man Eater from the palette, which is like a darker pink. And I'm firstly focusing that on the outer corners and as you can see, taking it slightly onto the lid as well. I'm darkening the look up with a bit of Bossy from the palette as well, which is almost like a purple, but not really. So it's like a dark pink purple. Again, focusing that on the outer edges. And then again, I'm blending everything out just with that fluffy brush. Now I'm grabbing Angelic from the palette. And as you can see, I'm using my fingers to get most of the product onto the lid. Uh, which is kind of not ideal when you have the nails that I have and when you're working with clients but obviously my hands are sanitized but anyway um, that's how they're best applied according to Huda and then I'm going to grab a brush just to get the inner corners which you can see are bare and just a tip I did wet my brush with a bit of fix plus just to actually get the product onto the brush because it doesn't usually pick up very well uh, hence they're designed for the fingers and now I'm just blending everything out just again to make sure there's no lines. And I always like to then go back in and see what I need to add. And I believe I'm adding a little bit more bossy just to further emphasize the outer corners. So I'm applying some mascara. I think it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I'm using a disposable wand. I just get mine from eBay, like a massive bulk pack. Obviously, I don't condone using the actual wands from mascaras. It's just unhygienic. I'm sure most people know this. So yeah, I'm just applying those. And then I'm going in with the Model Rack, Model Rack, oh my God. The Model Rock Lashes in the style number 212. And I'm using the little applicator just to help me get those onto the lashes really nice and close because we're not doing any liner or anything. And these are awesome for that because these lashes have a pretty like invisible band. Now I'm grabbing the Garnier Micellar Water and just cleansing off any of the eyeshadow fallout and just making sure the skin is nice and clean for makeup application. To prime, I'm using this MAC primer. I think it's like the natural radiance one, 
with the yellow undertone. I'm actually using a beauty blender to pop that onto the skin. I just felt like, because the beauty blender is damp, it also adds nice hydration into the skin as well. So it's just something I've been doing lately and I really like it. For foundation, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid and sorry that clip was totally out of focus. I think I'm using NC42 because my client had a spray tan so we're trying to match that spray tan and we're just applying a nice amount to the skin just to get that really full coverage glam. Um, it was her 21st birthday actually so we're making sure that it lasts all night long. This foundation is definitely good for a normal oily, even slightly dry skin as long as you prep really well. I honestly haven't found a foundation that performs the way that this does. So if you have any recommendation for full coverage foundations, oh gosh, um, let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you guys like. To conceal and brighten, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I believe the shade NC30, and I'm applying that underneath the eyes, close onto the sides of the nose as well, to help with contouring the nose. And I'm using a Real Techniques, I think it's like their foundation brush, um, which I really like for my concealer, just to actually get the product onto the skin. So I'm taking that in those you know, highlighting spots, down the bridge of the nose, top of the forehead, cupid's bow and the chin. It just balances everything out if you take it to other areas. If you just leave it under the eyes, it can just look like really weird. <laughs> Not balanced, so I like to balance it out. And then as always, I'm blending everything with my Beauty Blender and it's damp as always. And I just love the Beauty Blender for this. It's just honestly the best. I haven't found anything that works in this way. And it's especially good for a concealer like this because it'll take any of the excess product away that you don't need. To contour, I'm using this foundation stick from Tully Cosmetics and it's in the color Rich Bronze. I love this for contouring and I completely forgot that I had it. Um, it's just amazing. First of all, it's so easy to apply because it's on, you know, the stick. Um, and secondly, the color is just beautiful for someone that's like medium to tan. So I really recommend these and they come in a range of colors if you're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. So have a look. And Tully Cosmetics is an Australian brand, so it's really cool to support local makeup artists who have created their own makeup lines. So I'm using the same foundation brush just to blend it into the skin. And as you can see, it looks really natural. So after all the blending, sometimes you lose a little bit of the nose contour. So I'm taking the MAC, uh, I think it's the Studio Finish Concealer, just to go down the bridge of the nose, just to highlight it and bring that contour back. And I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set and bake the concealer. So really packing it on underneath um, just to really lock in the concealer and keep it nice and flawless all night long. Using medium brown powder from the Pro Palette from Anastasia, we're just filling in her brows really, really lightly. She has such a beautiful full brow, so nothing too crazy. We don't really need to make brows. She's got them. So yeah, as you can see, any areas that there are some gaps, we're just adding in a little bit of the powder. But I do like to keep some of the gaps, otherwise it can look pretty unnatural. So for the front of the brow, just brushing upwards and leaving it kind of very, very minimal at the front. Then setting them with the clear brow gel, which is the best brow gel ever. I've said it before, it's glue for your brows in the best way possible. Now I'm going in underneath with Bossy, Maneater, uh, Flamingo, just to smoke out underneath the lower lash line. And then taking a 
more defined brush just to get um, right onto the lower lash line here. I believe this color is bossy. So pretty much just following along what we did on the top minus the shimmer shade. Now I'm going in with the Chromographic Pencil from MAC, it's the NC15 and W20 or whatever it is. It's like a nice cream colour just to keep the eyes nice and open. Then coating the lower lash line with some more mascara using the disposable wand. Now I'm going in with one of the colours from the palette, I think it's Moon Dust, just to highlight the inner corners and brow bone. And now we're dusting off all that bake, so that's why I do the lower lash line when we're baking because it'll dust off any excess fallout that happens along the way and yeah just dusting everything off now just going over some areas of the face with a bit of studio fix but really really lightly I did tap off my brush a lot but just to give that real extra glam now my camera cut out but we're just bronzing with give me sun so you probably just noticed she got really bronze it's because the camera cut out then we are highlighting using the Sun Dipped Glow Kit using a couple of the shades, um, Summer and one of the other colours in there as well. And I just love this glowy effect. It's just, it brings such life back into the skin. Um, yeah, I love adding highlight after mattifying the face. It's just such a really, really nice effect. Don't forget the Cupid's Bow and the Bridge of the Nose and on top of the brows as well. It just catches the light so, so beautifully. Now I'm using my MAC blushes and I think the one I'm grabbing is Melba, I'm pretty certain. And it's just a really nice natural color. Um, you could go with a pink, but just to keep it the focus on the eyes, we decided to go with that one. Then further emphasizing under the eyes with the banana color from the ABH Contour Kit just to really brighten underneath there on top of the Laura powder. It's a really nice effect. Now we are spraying Fix Plus all over the skin just to add hydration and because you know the makeup can look quite powdery with all those layers, it really brings life back into the skin. And now we are lining with MAC Saw Lip Liner. It's a pink color, um, but it's kind of like a muted pink, but it really, really complemented this look. Then with my MAC lip palette, I'm using the shade Blankety, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's a, I believe it's a cream sheen, so it's got nice moisture and it's just a really beautiful color. It's like a muted nude pink. It's beautiful. Then just adding some more highlight onto the nose and then just carving out the brows at the front with this Pro Pencil from ABH. Just final touches. Then I decided to add a bit of a rose gold pigment by MAC just to the center. It was just missing that extra glow. So it's pretty much exactly the kind of colors in the Huda palette. So it really, really brightened this look and complimented it. And that is the final result. I hope you guys loved it. My client loved her look and I'm sure she had an amazing birthday. So if you want to see more videos, do subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.